Right everyone, uh, I did I'll come back and show you how to do this birdhouse. Now, um, this was only a prototype. I will finish it off. I will make sure it's all painted properly and everything. But it's because I had it in my head um, just after seeing um, a video. Um... I'd seen a video last night where somebody put some bird houses up and I thought yeah that'd be great to design one of, your, of my own um, and I got a picture in my head so I had to get it out straight away so I do sort of prototype things sometimes just to see how they work and then if they work I will come back and show you how to do them now this is what I used just an ordinary Michael's chipboard mini album and it's the scallop edge one save me doing it and you need about five sheets of that. So, you know, they're about a dollar, dollar fifty now. Um, I've got some flourishes and I did put a crown on it. Oops, sorry. See, I've put the crown on with the jewels and um, the flower. I did put the butterfly on that I've just got. But you'll see in the video from the haul from this morning. Uh, of course, I'm going to need a sign. I think I'm going to use that one. Don't have another oval disc. So I've got that. And the leaves, flourishes. So we've got some of those. Now, um, I have got some wooden uh, fencing left, because that's what I put on last night. Um, and we'll get going, because I didn't do mine the right way around, because I was just testing things out. Now I know what I have to do. Now I know that it works. I can do it properly. The only thing I don't have are the little pots. Uh, and so we'll figure something out for those and make our own, I think show you how to do that um, so there you go that's what we're going to be doing today and I'm going to start it off now this is going to be a long video so I'm going to stitch it all together so first of all we're going to have to chop up some of uh, these and if I can remember how to do it uh, I'll have to get the measurements as well because uh, I can't remember I started cutting the roof first so I'm just going to measure the roof um, Let's just have a look. How long did we have that? Uh, ten and a half centimetres. So we'll start with that. Okay. So you take your chipboard and you measure. Let me just make sure I have room. Here. And you measure from the tip. Um, what are we doing? Ten and a half. So let's get down to there. Find my pencil and we measure... Ten and a half centimetres. His nose, damn it. And you're going to need, of course, two of those. So let's get the uh, knife. Like that. And I do mine like that. Because I don't really want to cut into that board. It's uh, going to be a waste if I do. And do it over my ruler. As you can see, I'm always cutting into it. So then I need two of those. <coughs> so we'll just move that out of the way. Like that. Just do that. I really should have um, something to cut it on. I have my mat actually, so I should do that. Instead of ruining my uh, ruler. So there you go, that's going to be your roof. So then uh, you need two of those at ten and a half centimetres. Uh, and then we need the back panel. So I left it at the width of this to save messing about. Um, and I'm just going to measure that, because I do want to give you the right measurements. And that measured 14 centimetres. Okay, so we do 14 centimetres. I mean, if you've got chipboard you want to chop up and do it like that, fine. But I find these perfect. Again, let's measure these, 14. So we get that onto there. Like that. widest point okay 
and you're going to need two of these because you have your front and your back. I'm not pressing too high because I, I do go through onto my ruler. So you need two of those. Okay, so that's four pages reviewed so far. So I think you're going to need two journals, you know, two mini albums. Okay. Yeah, I cut the top off mine. I don't want to cut the top off this one, actually. I don't want to cut the top off at all. So I'm going to use that as the top. I didn't want to cut it. I like the, I like the gaps in it, actually, so it's going to be like that. So then you just need the sides. <coughs> so again, we measure 14. And it doesn't have to be wide, wide, does it? And I'm measuring it from this end this time, because I'm going to take that off. Sure, we've got that right. Like that, and that's that's going to be one of your canopies, okay? So you you know, you don't waste any of it. Uh, and then I think the width of this was uh, eight and a half. So the width of your wall on the sides is going to be eight and a half. So we'll just measure that. Um, it can actually be as wide as you want. I'm just going to do nine. Sod it, we'll do nine. Like that. There we go. And of course, you're going to need two of those. That's what happens when you don't get it right. Do be careful with these blades. So again, I'm going to need to cut two of those. And I just cut this off because you're going to need that as well. Cut this one off first. Like that. And then you can just slice that down. Like that. Oops, <laughs> silly old. Poor him, and he's been out this morning and collected all that stuff for me, and he's now packing parcels. <laughs> he's been doing his bit to help. So there you go, we've got front and back, two sides, doesn't matter that they're like that at all, and then the roof. Okay, we can sort out the base after, when we put it all together. Um, I've also got, let me just turn this round to make sure, I, my canopy. Now I use four, so all I'm going to do with this is just cut this, okay? So I used um, four at the top, so I'm just going to show you, which is that section there. And then the two I cut off, I used there. They may need to be cut down, they may not, it depends how you put them on. So that's that. Uh, then I did the shelving. Well, what I did, I used one of them for the base. Let me just grab hold of one of these. I used a sheet for the base, so that already jutted that out like that. Oh, you can see that. So that's the base. Uh, and I won't put, cut that until I've got the whole thing put together. And then I used um, two strips 
join them together here. So I show you that. So what we need to do now is to just, I'm just going to gauge this, I think. No, no, I won't because I know me, I'll make a mess. <laughs> so we need like four and a quarter. Do you want to just, what was it, four and a quarter? Let's have a look. Uh, right, okay. So we do that and just mark that. Okay, oops, I only need one of them. I've got two here. That was my mark. Like that, okay. Let's do that. I don't want to press too hard. I'll have to get my cutting mat out, say I've got one. Again, all you're doing is put that together like that. Draw your line, cut that one. Like that. And there you go. And what you do with this, uh, you cut the length you want. So I will just tell you the length of these. Um, and I did mine at 10 centimeters okay so you're gonna need both of these strips at 10 centimeters but you need to include this um, like that just measure it just so you get it straight sort of And it's really, really easy to put together. Make sure you've got both ends the same. And I'll just cut mine with the scissors. So, and those two sit like that. Doesn't matter about the ledge at all. But you sit them like that, so you've got this either side. It just makes it look pretty. Uh, and then we've got the shelving. So what we do is we go back with this spare piece um, that you have cut off and you just need two. Like that. Okay. And then I just cut the last two. So I'll show you what these are for. These are your little shelving. I mean, you can have them as wide as you want. I cut mine down, which I'm going to do with these now. Uh, where's my scissors? Because uh, I don't want them too big. Like that. Just so they're the same. So that's your little shelving. Um, and then... These that join underneath because you need support are those, okay? So they don't need to be any bigger than those. So pop them on together and cut them. Join those two together and cut them, okay? So there are your two shells with your supports. But then you do need a support for these. Okay, now I think I had... Uh, here we are. Here's the other two. Um, now I used two. Now wait a minute, because I, I should have another section. But never mind if not. Why do I not have another section? Let me just see what I did with yesterday's chipboard. Whoops, never mind. Right, what I'm going to do is I might have to make another one um, and I'll just do two, I'll use a piece of this, okay, and all I'm going to do is take that and draw around it, I think. No, forget that. <laughs> 
we're just going to use this one as a support yeah so where's the little shelf that's the shelf okay and that support comes out like that so all I now need to do is to measure that remember that's the shelf and the support is the shaped one at the front so that will have to come out like that okay that's right that's how I had it didn't I oh it's upside down sorry <laughs> cut that off just cut it like that it doesn't go like that that's your shelf and the support these I've got down on that one yeah I've got them down like that so it's a fancy shelf okay now, obviously, we don't need them that long. I don't know why I cut them that long. We need them the same as the top shelves, the two little shelves. Now, I do have a spare piece to put the next one, you know, to cut the next one out for the end of the other shelf, uh, this shelf here, like that. So they go like that. Um, but I don't want to waste that piece. So what I'm going to do is to draw around this one. And make one <laughs> okay I'll run through it all the pieces that you're going to need now, I'm not sure if I will be able to do this using these scissors but they are good for cutting chipboard got that so far Put it into there for now. Let's take that off. Yeah, yeah. There you go. There you go. And there's the two supports for that shelf. So I'm just going to clear this up and then I will go through everything. Don't waste that. That might come in handy for something. All your bits and pieces. Don't waste because they'll come in handy for something else. Okay. Okay, let's have a look. Here we go. So, what do we have? We have the front. Okay? And we have the back. That's those two. We have the two sides. Okay? Now you do need another piece because you need the V that goes in the top of the roof. When that's like that, you're going to need these two pieces here. So, But we do that when we've got the house put together. We have the front shelf, the big shelf, like that, with um, the two supports to hold that one. We have the two small shelves that go either side of the hole with their supports, like that. And then we've got the canopy and the one above that. Uh, but these do actually need to be... I'm going to cut this one down. I'm just going to cut it down. Now, that wasn't straight, lady. Come on. That's about right. Because I eyeball everything. It doesn't always work. Um, so that's the canopy that will sit across that, like that. Okay. So now we're going to put the book... Uh, book her book put the thing together now what I did I glued the side first um, the front one oh we put the hole in the front sorry I do apologize I do apologize I just used a tin engaged when I wanted the hole to be so a better side on the outside is this so I'm just gonna have mine uh, do I want it there? Yes, because I need space to fill it, don't I? I need to put my shelf on and all of that. So I'm going to have mine about there. It's about right, okay? This is the tricky bit. I don't like cutting this. I haven't got a punch that will do that. I wish I had, actually. So well, all I'm going to do is just go in to cut that. Like that. Just do several marks in it. If you can get yours. Where's my board? It was just down on the side of me. 
Okie dokie, let go. So, just very carefully. I need to put this in a little bit, I think. That's it. Just do several cuts in it, because chipboard's not that easy to cut in a circle, I can tell you that now. Okay. But if you get it going like that, if you know any way, uh, a different way to do it, then you do that. Okay, so we've got this. Uh, and then all I'm going to do is very, very carefully start it off. And hopefully just punch that out. Just be careful and support your thumb on the deck. So you're supporting the actual blade. Okay. So you're pushing down onto the deck, but you're controlling the blade. And it will take the hole out. Just put some pressure onto your thumb if you can. So that your your arm does the movement. You just have to be careful. Because you can't if you slipped, you your thumb would be out of the way then, you could move it fast. Right, so we've done that. Okay, and that's not a bad hole at all. Okay, so what we're going to do now is attach that to the sides. Now, I do have my glue gun on. Let me just check these are the same height because I have to be. A little bit taller, actually. So I'm just going to chop that down. So just to measure it right, make sure the points are like that. And then... I'm just filming. Take the other side with the back piece so you know you've got them the same. No, I'd like a couple, please. That's the same. Right, so we've got the back panel. We're going to glue on the um, sides. Let me just check that. It's a bit skew whiffy that. No, it's right. Okay, so we're going to glue on the back panel. Like that. And all I did was to take the glue gun, and I've just broke my glue gun, I think, because the handle's not pressing properly. I heard it click last night, it's like something broke. So it's just typical of me to do something. Okay, and then all you do is you pop that and jut it up against that and push here at the bottom. I hope you can see that. Push here. So you're pushing it in while holding that up. Which will connect it. And then just do that. See, I didn't quite get that bit there. Okay. So you've got that. And again, you just do the same with this one. Yeah, I think the thing has gone in my glue gun. I heard it crack last night. I mean, if you find an easy way to put one together, then yeah, go, go for it. Okay, and then just do that like I say. Doesn't matter if you need to put a bit, little bit more glue on it at all. Yeah, so you've got that. Now we've got to get the front on, okay? And again, you just do the same thing.
and you just pop that on like that okay just make sure that they are jutted up together you can always take it off with this chipboard you can always take it off now what I'm going to do is just to do the edge of this one and this is where you've got to be careful oh come on don't break on me okay and then carefully jut that up against that put some pressure on it and just wipe that off like that and there I'm not bothered about this being ridged here at all you've got your box clean all the glue off I mean if you want to cover it then you can cover it but I'm not I'm just painting mine so we're just basically just making the um, thing now what I'm going to do is put the base on now I want mine because it's the same width isn't it so I want mine with a, a ledge quite a I'm gonna have a quite a deep ledge actually like that so all I do is pop that onto there and just mark off where I want it which is about there <coughs> take hold of my ruler um, actually I make it a straight four centimeters it's just easier to have for instead of um, halves and whatever okay Okay, so we've got that, and now I'm just going to glue that onto there. <clears throat> this is the tricky bit, because you do have to be quick, and with a gun like I've got at the moment that's not working properly, what I'm going to do is just glue the back first. Just pop the back on. doesn't have to fit perfect okay it's just sometimes easier to do it that way now what I do is I just slowly just gently lift that up just lift it up and separate it oh, the glue gun's gone okay and then what I do is I pop that onto there, hold it in, and just wipe that clean. It's just taken off the excess, and then press that down, like that. And then exactly the same on this side, just hold that up a little bit. Okay, and then push that in. Wipe that off the excess. In, push that in like that. Holding that down. I mean, you can put strips here of, um, you know, the tape and things like that to uh, strengthen it, but you don't have to. This will hold when you've got it. Right, we're back to do this. Um, right, if we just got the uh, base on. And I haven't glued in there, but I'm going to. Um, and all I do is just pop a little strip of... Oh, my, my glue gun might work. Uh, just to pop a little strip of glue. Oh, God. The handle's gone on this. It has definitely gone on this. Like that. And that is basically just to support... If you push that in when it's while it's uh, wet that glue and then just smooth it out <clears throat> um, I'm just going to pop a little bit more here you can take all the excess off it it doesn't matter just let it sit for a minute pop that on like that and then just smooth that out just so it leaves you with a nice smooth finish there and that will hold that. 
Um, and then what I did, I just glued the roof together like that, okay? So this is the next section. We're going to put the roof on. And it just sits perfectly like that. And it doesn't matter that I've only done these. Um, all I'm going to do is to put some glue, if my glue gun will work, over the tops of the front section. There'll be enough on that to hold it. You can take any excess glue off it shortly. Oh, come on, glue gun. Right, let's just leave it at that. Um, okay, and then sit my roof on where I want it. And just, it will work. You can see inside it has touched. And you can just pop your finger in and it's holding that anyway. Okay. Um, and then basically all you have to do is exactly the same. It is a bit tricky, but just be careful with it. Right, I'm going to have to put some more glue in. I just can't believe how, what look I have not <laughs> with certain things. So just lift up the lid and then pop the glue onto the ridges. Just press in like that and it will hold it. You know, you might find an easier way or different way to do it. I'm fine with that. I'm fine. Completely fine with mine. Can't just get rid of any excess. And you've got that. That will hold it. And you're not going to see underneath anyway. All the glue inside. <laughs> um, and then, like I say, what we're going to do is we need to put this uh, triangle in here. Um, and this is where your last piece comes into. Oh, have I got a piece that will work? If that's wide enough. Yes, it is. So the end you've cut off, these rubbish bits that you've cut off, all you do is pop your birdhouse down. Jut it up against that. Where's my pencil gone? And just mark it off. And that's that. And just push that in. And if it's hanging over the edge at all or anything like that, just chop that. Like that. That's fine. And there you go. You've got that. Okay. And that will all hold. Don't worry about it at all. It will hold. Now, next thing is... Um, that need, now needs painting before I put anything else on. Um, but we'll leave that a minute. Now what we need to do is to sort these bits out. So I'm just going to get rid of all the rubbish so I don't get mixed up. Like I say, don't throw anything away. And pop that to one side. Now what you need to do is to do these. You need to now paint them and whatever you want to do with them. So where is my... Let me get my little mats my non-stick mat one I haven't actually cut into at the moment <laughs> so let's put those scissors away for a minute so these are all the bits that you're going to uh, need first of all you need to do this one and you need to glue them two together Oh, come on, handle. Okay. So, that's what we're going to do, is to glue those two bits together. Make sure they're the same. Take off any excess. And that's your one shelf. Okay. So, now that will need um, painting. So, we've got that. Um, that's the top canopy with the uh, canopy above it. 
these are the shelves and they're the sh uh, supports for the sh shelves you've got here so we're going to paint them now now i did a mixture last night it's awful <laughs> what i used was um green paint which is this oops i've just put glue all over mine I use this uh, Glaria, which is Windsor Newton, and it's sap green. Uh, don't forget, it did have a couple of layers of pink and whatever as well. Um, and then to that, I also added... I don't know if I've got it with me. Yeah, here it is. I also added this. So if you bought this from me, this is a colour wash, uh, a Dirndac Tim Holtz, and it's the Espresso. Uh, only because it, it mixed well... It, well, I didn't know it was going to, but it did actually mix quite well with it. So all I'm going to do is... Although the green sits at the bottom, that's fine. See, and you've got that nice green colour. And you do need to paint it because you're going to add um, some of the crackle medium onto these. Now, like I say, I put all mine together last night and then, oh God, and then did the crackle medium, which was wrong because you're supposed to do your colours first. quite a watered mixture but it's because it's got acrylic paint in it um uh, you don't really need more than one coat you could put more than one coat on if you wanted to look so <clears throat> so far we've got that and i'm just going to move that out the way because i always spill everything as people will know <laughs> and just dry all of that off Ray had to swap my gun again last week, uh, this week, sorry, because it, um, the fan was making a noise on the new one. That's that. And that's that. Okay, dokie, that's going to do. Now, like I said, that's going to be the top of the shelf, that's going to be the canopy, that's also going to be the canopy. Um, let me just get a cloth and wipe this bit. Um, there are the supports. Um, and they're the little shelves and all of these apart from the supports they're not and that's those two that's that one these are going to have to have the crackle medium on so this is where I like it <laughs> I do, I love this stuff like I say I'm using the Dreamweaver's crackle medium Okay, and uh, I'm going to scrape every little bit out of here that I can. And, oh, and I am going to put it on pretty thick because I want a nice crackle on it. Okay, like that. Sorry, I hope you can see. a little bit more on that like that oops I mind 
like that. I think that's going to be fine. It doesn't have to be perfect because you're not after perfection at all. So what I'm going to do now is just help this along. So I hope you can see just to help it all along and then we'll paint the birdhouse. Right, so what I'm going to do now is just put that to one side uh, and paint the house. Now I will come back <coughs> to show you the roof um, because I'm just going to paint this. It's going to take too long. It basically is just painting the inside as much as possible with a long brush and then painting all the outside. And we're back with part three. <coughs> now, um, while I've been gone off um, and loading part one and two up, what I've done now is I've painted the house. I haven't painted it all inside, and to be quite honest, um, it would have been easier before putting the roof on to have painted the inside walls. But I've only painted what you're going to see, basically. That's the sides inside uh, and the back panel. Um, and then to get this effect, this kind of wood, woody effect, um, I'm going to show you how to do that. I've painted all of it green first. Um, I've got the back to show you and the front again to do uh, the front to do again now what I'm going to do and just before I do that I forgot to tell you you need supports for this the roof uh, not the roof the canopies and all you do is you cut little triangles obviously the bigger the panel you need the uh, bigger the triangle okay and just paint them and just that's all you need okay <coughs> I forgot about those I have also glued on these ready it's easy. I'm trying to find the easiest way to show you. So glue on your little back, um, that's your shelf, your front shelf, like that. And just glue this on, your support. Okay, so I've done those and I've repainted them up just so that they look neat. Because in the one, I know in the video last night that I showed, they weren't neat. But I was just putting it together to see if it worked. Uh, this is a lot better. Now, like I say, to get this um, kind of colour, you can do this... Whatever colour you're mixing, this is the sort of thing you can do. You dip your brush into the white acrylic first, just like that. And then into your colour, whatever colour you're doing. Dip your brush in, okay? You might, oh, soldier had to spill it. I haven't, it didn't come out, but I knocked it over. And then what you do is, you just do it in lines like that. And as the two colours, keep going back to your main colour to blend in. And as your colours blend... You don't need too many strokes, I have to tell you that. Okay, in the white, in the colour. And you get that two-tone effect. I mean, obviously, if you just do your strokes like that. Okay. You can keep it like that, or you can go over it. I will generally just go, do your edges first, basically. That's I teach my grandchildren to do that, because then you can just blend in. And you see where that's lighter at the bottom now? All I do, go in with the main colour and darken it up again. Like that. And then you just get that wooded effect. And then you need long strokes to cover the whole amount. And if you can do it like that. Like that. And that's that's all there is to it. Okay.
Um, so, right, now we're going to do the crackle medium. <coughs> so, where did I put my... Here we are. And I put the supports on there as well. So, oh, wow, well, I'll remember. Let me just go over that. I just want it to be neat underneath. All I'm doing is just painting over where I've got the crackle medium. Paint the supports again. That'd be fine. Okay, so that's ready when it's uh, all ready to go on. That can then be glued on. Wash my brush again. So I hope you can see the roof. I will try my best to... Um... Right, so I need to screw up a stir of this. I'm running out! <laughs> so all you do, again, is just to paint that on. Paint it on. Okay, you need quite a bit on to be honest. Just roughly paint it on first, get on the layer that you want. And then it. Yeah, I put my thumb in that. Yuck! Ah! <laughs> so I'm just painting it on one way, like that. Just to get it on what I want. Might need to open that at the tub. That means I'm going to run out. With this stuff, I'm trying to have one in all the time. A spare. So I'll just go over those. Come on, scrape the barrel, woman. Scrape the barrel. <laughs> I'll scrape in the barrel. And I want that on pretty thick because I do want a nice effect on that roof. Don't worry about any of the edges. You can go over them and tidy them up later. Don't worry about any of that. And the other thing was, because I used the same width and uh, I, didn't have a, I didn't use a bigger chipboard, you know, you could go over it so it hangs over here. would look even better. But I'm just using the chipboard that I had in the book. Okay? Right, here we go. Now, let's see what damage we can do. <laughs> what are you kidding? Fantastic. Love it. And I like it that it's not all the same. You've got the smooth bit here in between. So the thicker it is, the better the crackle, but then you don't want it all the same. It adds character to it. Test that. Yeah, that's fine. Now, all I'm going to do is, because I have a little bit of paint to tot up a bit, just a touch it's when I've gone over there I just want to touch that up that's all I want to do just there it doesn't matter that's fine just brush that in yeah a little touch there as well Touch it up there and there. Gives a bit more character to it. Now what I'm going to do, take my blending tool and I need two colours. <coughs> and those two are peel paint and um, walnut stain. And I'm first going to go around with the walnut stain. Put some on my pad. And we'll do the front first because that was drying quicker. And just do the edges like that. Look at that. Immediately you've got that aged look. Immediately. So we're just going to make sure we brush it in like that.
and then with what ink I've got on my brush I'm just gonna ink that up a little bit just to give it that age look like that because it's very quite quick to uh, dry okay so now we've got that and I'm absolutely chuffed to death with that so I hope you can see it like that fabulous love it right so now what we're going to do is we're going to attach all the bits okay and of course that I'm going to, oh, should I sit it there? No, I'll sit it there. So, basically all it is, is just gluing it on. And I'm only gluing it from the centre. When I, it's doubled. Like that. And we take the little ones. Ah, now, oh, yes, mm, I didn't ink them up. Let me just ink these up a bit. That's all they need. Inking up a little bit. Now, never thought of that, did I, silly old? Just ink the edges up. My tool, not, oh, that's it, get in there. <laughs> Okay, so that's that. And what we're going to do is pop these on. Okay. Sorry if my head was in the way, sorry. Okie dokie. Right, what I've done now, <clears throat> all I've done, do we have these on? I can't remember. Well, <laughs> I've glued these on. Yeah, I think we had them on and they work quite straight, but I've put them right now. I've glued these on, um, the shelves. I've also used a crocodile, uh, or crocodile clip and just put a little green pin in there and hung the north, south, east and west. Uh, and then what I'm going to do is, we've got these bits now, is I'm going to put the reef, at uh, the, uh, um, what's I call it on here. So, you need to do it on the edge. Hope you can see this. Oh God, it's not very straight. I haven't got a straight, uh, steady hand. Look, it's gone over. It's gone over. And I'm just going to flip mine over like that. <laughs> just that it caught that. Um, <clears throat> um, the glue that was on the top. But I'm not worried about it at all. Right. From inside, just push the inside, okay? Like that. Now, I might need to... All you need to do with these pegs is you glue one side and then the other. And then what you do is you pop that in the middle. You could have one either side, to be honest. But I'm just, oops, it's nowhere near the middle fee. Come on. I'm going to take mine out and take the glue off. Just rub the glue off because it was in the wrong place. I didn't like that at all. So we get that bit of glue off. Oops. Like that. I know you're not going to see because it's going to be covered, but I don't like to see bits and bobs of glue like that. <laughs> right, we'll just take that off again and redo that.
like that with the support. See, like that. Yeah, and because I haven't, I cut that bit so it showed the um, clean chipboard where I cut it. So I've just put a bit of paint on that. But like I say, and there you go, we've got that so far. Now, what do we need to do next? The flourish, I think. Hopefully that'll do. Yeah, that'll do. It's coming along, isn't it? Look. Right, we'll move it out of the way for a minute and we're going to do the crown and the flourish. So I'm just going to clear this. Now, I did use more than one flourish last night and I had to take bits off here, there and everywhere. So, let me just see when I want the flourish. See where I've got to take them off. Um, I'm going to have that one there, like that, so I don't actually want it, um, let me just see, let me just take that off there I think, like that, because that's going to go under there, like that, yeah, and then this one on this side. What I'm doing is just showing you, I'm going to add that to there, and then I'll take, that one's above, but I want that one off. Sorry if my head's in the way, sorry. Snip that one off, because this is the best thing about these, you can alter them. What was I doing? Oh, what did I cut that for? Oh, that's it, because I want it there, so I'm having one there and one on that side like that, so it's slightly higher. Right, okie dokie. And now all we've got to do is to paint them. Now I painted them once they were on. I glued them on and then painted them. Well, I'm not going to do that, because that was silly. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint these. <clears throat> now, I used the green. Oh, I can't get into it. <laughs> Use the green. And all I did, I just popped a little bit on a it like that so I could just scrape it right off like that sap green that is and then I also had a little touch of uh, this is the lemon yellow so I'm just gonna open this one Like that. Okie dokie. And then, um, now, I might as well just use the same paintbrush a minute. Because we are painting it all. And I'm going to need a little one. Okay. So, take the green. And just totally coat that. They're already edged, so you don't need to edge them. Okay, um, and then just leave that to rest a minute. And then take your yellow, and you're just flicking. just to give them a, a touch of colour. And tidy them up, just get it on first. Because don't forget, some of them will get hidden because of the flowers. 
and then like you say just go in and titivate them up and just leave them like that I wouldn't do too much with them at all they're not going to be the focal point of your birdhouse And anybody can do this. It's not hard at all. I know people who don't paint say, oh, I can't do that. Well, you can. Anyone who watches my videos, don't take no for an answer. There's always a way of doing something. Like I say, just start it off, putting it on first. You need a bit of character to your leaves. You can spend more time doing them. You know, um, I'm just showing you. Okay, like that, that'll do. Fine, because I'm not messing about with a leaf. Okay, and of course you need to uh, finish painting the bottom. And then we just dry them off. Move that out of the way. You might need that again to fill out. Plus you'll have the back to do as well. So what we're going to do, this was this one. We have to remember where we put it. Like so. like that and then we pop that in there just like that don't know if you've seen that sorry if you're not just pop that on like that and it is far quicker and far easier to um, sort out the paint job first well I didn't do that because I was building it and just changing it and whatever last night so that's just me it's the way I am um, I do prototype things sometimes and and then I work out what I've got to do. Now this one I think we said, what did we say? That was going where? Oh, this was going below wasn't it? Why have I got that? I had that on. Oh, I've put that on it wrong place like a twit, I think. Right, so what we do is we're going to take that off, because that one's in the way. Doesn't matter about that, we'll just paint that up. Let's get a touch of paint. Like that. I'm just in the middle of a tutorial. Right. Yeah, and that's going to go in there. So I need a little touch. Of glue. I'm just going to try and pop that in place. Like that. That's it, and you've got that up to now. I 
Right, hopefully the uh, battery will last a little longer. This this one I'm happy with, this one I'm not. It's too jutted out, so I'm going to change that. And all I have to do, hopefully, is to take that off. Right, oh, I see I've ripped that now. It doesn't matter because we can paint over that. Um, and what I'm going to do is cut it. It was too high, to be honest. I didn't like it too high. So I just chop a bit off. Take off the old glue. <coughs> and then I'm just going to pop it back in that same place. Like that. And hold that down. Much better. Like it like that. Just give it a chance to dry. Like that. It was uh, it was too far out, you know, standing up too tall. But I do like it like that. A little bit better. Right, so we've got this. I put the leaves on. Now, I did take some leaves off. So what I'm going to do, using the wrong scissors, of course, is I now want to add there i'm going to just pop that on there that's the best thing about these you can add and take away so i'm just gonna add that onto there like that and i might just glue that one down actually just a dob of glue on it and uh sorry if my head's in the way and uh, just to support that i don't think yeah, I'm not going to put any anywhere else. Um, that's enough for me. You do have to be careful with these because they're quite flimsy. Anyway, so that's that. Now, uh, what should we what should we do next? Oh, what I'm going to do next is um, I'm going to put the no, I'll put the fencing on last. I think I'm going to pop some flowers on, and I'm only going to use four large, and then I'll just nip and get some uh, smaller ones. So I do like that. Hope you can see it. Um, yeah, that's quite pretty. Uh, now what I've got to do is to make the pots. One's going to stand in here, sort of. Thing. Now I'll put the sides on, I think. Yeah, I'm going to put the sides on. Oh, and what I'm going to do before I do that is just to paint up when I pulled it off. Underneath just to tidy that up. Oops, take that off. That's it. In there. Right, let's get the sides done. So I'm just going to move that. Uh, and if I remember rightly, uh, let me have a look. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we need nine lots of fencing. Um, so that's two, four, six, eight, nine. And all you do is cut that off. Like that. And then two, four, six, eight, nine, and cut that off. Okay. And all I did with these, it doesn't matter which way really. Is I took my um, distress inks with my tool and I just distressed them up. 
That's all I did, basically. I didn't really want a white one. And as I'm doing a touch of green, I'll just put a hint of green just to sort the colour out here and there. Like that, when you've got a two tone, more realistic fence. <coughs> okay, and then what I did, I took the Dreamweaver's um, box at tub and just bent that round and that was the right size for the fencing so just pull that like that like that and then tuck the side of the house now you have to be careful because of the leaves um now let me try and clip this down a little bit Okay. And I just glued along the edge of the fence and popped that on that side first so I knew that was going to be straight. Let's hold that in. Whoops a daisy, I think I've just uh, pulled that off a little bit but never mind. Let's stand this up to do this. Lean it up against there. And then just glue that like that and pop that fence in place there. And hold that down. And we turn that around. And I think what I did, yeah, I started to pull that away. So what I'm going to do is pop, oops, a little bit of glue just under that leaf and push that back in. Like that. Don't worry about these, we're going to paint them. I see, and I broke that. That's what I did. So. I might just clip that off actually. And leave it like that and then I can just dip my finger in the paint and just colour that up. Like that. I will I sort that out as well. Like that. So I'm just gonna take that bit of glue off there. Prop that up like that, and then put this bit of fencing on. I'm really sorry that it's uh, quite a long video, but, you know. And like I say, we just jut that up to that side. Like that. that and we do need to just lever that out a little bit and then just pin that to that just not just go a little bit like that like that dry holding that I think yeah and there you've got the fence on don't worry about these bits here uh, we're going to hide that with some a, a plant of some sort I'm just going to pop this on top to give it a bit of height for me yeah I like that it's coming on really nice I do like that I hope you can see that let me just turn it round for you see like that Uh, so I'm just going to pull the camera out a little bit for you. There we go. 
Um, I'm going to have to find a bird or two. <laughs> oh, we're going to do the crown next as well. Put quite a bit of glue here. Because then if you put it on the edge, um, it will sit either side like that and hold the bird in. What I'm going to do with this is... Whoa! <laughs> He's gone in. Come out, you little sod. You need to just hold it in to dry. Um, and he's going to sit there like that. So all I'm going to do with that is just put a dollop of glue on there. And then when I put him on, squidge him on like that. Oops. Right, now what I did by doing that, by being a silly ass that I am, I actually knocked that off. But I can just get the glue gun in there. hold that up like I say everything can be glued back there's no point in worrying about anything at all because once it's made it's not as though you're going to be battering it about is it that's quite safe that so there you go I've got the birds on I will pull all the strands off and do all the titivating up a bit later under there you can just paint when it's glued uh, now what I'm going to do is put the crown on. But we have to do the crown. What am I going to do with the crown? Let me see what I did with it the first time. Yes, I painted it green, so we'll just do that. 